So this is me running on no sleep after traveling 200 kilometers to deliver this 3D print defender to my buddy Kevin. How did I end up here? So my friend Kevin has a 1995 Honda Integra for over 5 years and now he wants to turn it into a time attack machine. He asked me if I can make a custom body kit for it and the rest, well, you saw the title of the video. We made it. So there are many things that need to be done to the car in order to make it track ready. Um, I'll leave it for another video. But the reason for a body kit is because we will fit a wider set of tire and also lower the car significantly. So part of the old fender has to be trimmed off. So with that being said, let's get started. So Kevin asked me to have a mixture of the square fender flare from um, these uh, touring race car plus the GT3 RS uh, style uh, with the flap behind the wheel arc. So we're going to mix these two together. So Kevin sent us this drawing. He wanted the back of the wheel arc to have vented opening to relieve air pressure. He am trying to outline his drawing and figure out the shape in 3D. So after a couple exchange about the design, we finally decide to go for this version with a square off fender flare and some opening to uh, relieve air pressure behind the wheel well. So it's day three already and we just started 3D modeling. Um, this process probably gonna take me a whole day, but we have to hurry up because we only have two days left to print the part and deliver it to Kevin. All right, so we just got all the part printed. Um, now we're gonna put it on. No. Yeah, let's see how it's gonna go. So here we are walking through the street of Montreal, um, getting this thing delivered to our friend Kevin, and uh, we'll see how it fits. I'm doing social media at the same time. I'm gonna film every aspect of your life. Oh man, thank you. You use the 3D scanning gave you, right? Yep. What do you use? Yep, all about them. Like, it should be very, very accurate. It's pretty close, dude. Yeah. This has to go forward. I'd rather align with the door than with the with the light, you know? Mm. Is that is that close? Yep. It's like perfect fit. Man, the line match crazy. Dude, I told you that 3D scan was like... I paid a lot of money for that 3D scan. How much? Like 600 bucks. It was less than I expected. Like it, it took was, like a thousand. Bro, it, wasn't, it wasn't full car though. I, I just, what you saw it was like half, right? Like well, half. you don't need a full car. Yeah, I mean, so. Actually, that's the one thing I, I liked about the that BB engineer group. Like, oh, they do like symmetry scans. Like, you can do symmetry scan on the on SolidWorks, right? Yeah. So you can see like how symmetrical your car is. Oh, yeah, I need the symmetry scan. Cars are not symmetrical, dude. Yep. So I know you guys want to see the result, but here is how it should technically look on the real car. Um, so I designed this part based off a 3D scan that Kevin provided to me and um, obviously on the CAD design everything is perfect, everything lined up perfectly, um, line up all the panel gap, um, 
the fender or the uh, extension sit very well to the stock fender um, let's see how it's gonna translate into a 3d print and onto the actual car I just this do. is like fucking stupid wine, bro. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, it's all good. I mean, that's why we that's why you do test prints, right? Yeah. But like, no, but that's stupid uh, mistake. I guess. So yes, that is the result of five sleepless day. Um, everything turned out to be so good. Um, the design translate into a three D print onto the real product. It's just like a perfect match um there's no panel gap all the line uh line up as intended um yeah i'm pretty happy with this first first prototype and um make sure to stay tuned and follow for part two where we're gonna actually make the part in fiberglass